สวัสดีค่ะ Good morning and welcome to Morning Thailand. I'm Wana Son Kroe Hong. And I'm Tanana Pat Noi. We are good morning. Thank you for joining us on Morning Thailand News for this Thursday, December the 5th, 2013. Mm-hmm. And of course, this is one of the days that you will witness. The great power of Thai people. Mm-hmm. A lot of celebrations, indeed, because we have a long list of places and activities you can actually join and mm-hmm. visit. And of course, today, if you see a lot of people donning yellow, yellow, that's because it's His Majesty the King's um, birthday's colors, mm-hmm. which is on Monday. So, yes. hence. The yellow. <laughs> We're wearing yellow. Thai people united to wear yellow clothing, and places mm-hmm. were adorned with the pictures of His Majesty the King, the royal emblem, and also the national Thai flags as well. Mm-hmm. But we have to starting first with the atmosphere in Hua Hin uh, district of right. Prithu of Kirikan Province, Khun Gov. You, you know what? Yesterday, the Pet k a s e m Road leading mm-hmm. to Dao South. Okay. Really, it was really congested right. since um, it was my way home. Mm. So I know since uh, around 2 p.m. Wow! Yeah, I heard start, that. Yeah, people started, started off very early. Mm-hmm. Um, some even got to Hua Hin since the third. Yeah, just because today, of course, His Majesty the King will grant the grand audience mm-hmm. for all the public to actually get a chance to. Pay respect to him yes, in person, course. but of course it's going to be in a motorcade. But still, mm-hmm. a lot of people. It's not every day that you will get a chance to um, see the king up close. So mm-hmm. this is one of the thing. That's why a lot of people flocking to Hua Hin. Yes, of mm-hmm. course. And starting off with the. Preparations, the celebrations of His Majesty 86th birthday anniversary today, and in the morning at around 10:30, according to the schedule, His Majesty the King, accompanied by Her Majesty Queen s i r i g i t will make a public appearance at the Raja p r a c h a s a m a k o m Pavilion of the g l a i g a n g w o n Palace in Hua Hin District of p r a t u o p k i r i k a n Province. His Royal Highness Crown Prince m a h a w a t i r a l o n g k o n Prime Minister Ying Lak c h i n a w a t the House Speaker. คุณสมศักดิ์เกียรติสุรนนท์ the supreme commander and the chiefs of the armed forces will be present to express their well wishes as well the ceremony trooping the color by the royal guards will be held for the first time outside of the capital and along with the taking of the oath of allegiance on this special occasion at the Glai Gang Won Palace The three armed forces will be uh, firing the cannon salutes to celebrate the king's birthday. The event will be broadcasted live on state radio and television. Now, many giant screens have been installed at various spots in Prathuap Kirikans Hua Hin district already, as a huge number of people are expected to turn out in full force today to celebrate His Majesty's birthday. It has been reported that many people have been occupying the footpath along the Pet k a s e m Road in front of Glai g a n g w o n Palace since yesterday, or someone has came has come um, since the beginning of this week. Mm-hmm. All the uh, hotels and all the bookings have fully reserved. Right, and it seems that uh, there was a, a request to the. Telecom operators to expand the signals mm, for a right, uh, working district too. during December the fourth to the sixth mm-hmm. because people will be churning out in large number there. p r a t u p k i r i k a n Governor Kun w i r a s i w a t s i w a t a m a t r a k u n said the portion of the road would be closed to traffic from three in the morning today to ensure that there was more spaces for the well wishers. He said the area should be able to accommodate tens of thousands of people, and this will be the first time that His Majesty the King has granted a grand public audience from the g l a i g a n g w o n Palace. Light decorations and decorative plants have been adorning the area already. Meanwhile, in Bangkok, back in the capital, Khun Ying Lak c h i n a w a t said that uh, there will be a Certain numbers of activities and celebrations held in honor of His Majesty at the government house, and she would be leading the candle lighting ceremony in honor of the King at the Royal Plaza, the Sanam Luang, right. that will start shortly after 7 p.m. tonight. 
Several heads of state have already sent their best wishes to His Majesty on the occasion of his birthday already. Among them are Britain's Queen Elizabeth II and U.S. President Barack Obama. All right. With the candlelighting ceremony this evening, not just in the capital, uh, various provinces will be holding this particular ceremony as mm -hmm. well, where Thai people will unite to light a candle mm -hmm. and sing the royal hymn. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, uh, in most places, particularly in in Bangkok, mm -hmm. the event will be closed up with a fireworks celebration right. exhibition. I mean, wow. And that's one other thing, if you would like, you can always join all these um, activities. And this is one other thing that um, obviously the demonstrations and such has stopped already mm -hmm. just for this occasion. And it has helped a lot. And according to the poll as well, that said quite clearly that that was the case. Now, of course, um, one other thing as well, if you would like to go to um, Pratup Khan province, they say that um, the State Railway of Thailand also have free mm -hmm. t train rides yeah. for you, um, taking you to Hua Hin district. So they say that at this point, um, the previously scheduled eight train daily from um, yesterday, so um, the day before until, of course, today will actually be in place. So if you would like, you can always visit the train station and see whether mm -hmm. or not you can get one of those train rides to the Hua Hin district of Rajob Kirikan because not only that it will give you a chance to see His Majesty the King yeah. as well as Her Majesty the Queen, however, you probably will get a chance to visit the area Hua Hin is a great, great place to be mm -hmm. anyway. All right, in terms of the poll that there has been um, two Two polls in particular at this point. Sundusit poll is one of the most famous um, polls, uh, surveys that we have here in Thailand. Now, of course, Sundusit has came up with a questions and then trying to see what, is, what are the Thai people at this point think about December the 5th. And they say that this particular poll is conducted by asking 1,660 people during um, the December the 1st all the way to yesterday, December the 4th, and talking about what they would like to do to, for His Majesty the King. Mm -hmm. Now they say that at this point, 54.04 um, has said that um, everybody should stop fighting and at least talk to each other in terms of trying to um, create unity in the country and that would be a great gift for His Majesty the King. 20.89% said that um, all the citizens should have uh, morale as well as trying to uphold the most, um, of course, um, both morality as well as the uh, good deeds and such. Mm -hmm. Now, 13.58 say that there should be selfless and then doing things for the greater goods instead of just for your own good. 11.49 said that um, they would like to join this particular event as a way to show His Majesty the King that uh, they are loyal. That means that they would like to join all the candle lighting activities. Mm -hmm. And they say that at this point, um, a lot of people pretty much answering the same thing is that in terms of trying to give His Majesty the King the gift for his birthday this year, 86th birthday anniversary, mind you, um, they, most of them 51% say that they should just be a good citizen to mm -hmm. begin with. Now, 18.41 say that um, they should be beneficial or act according to the benefits of the others instead of just their own, so for greater goods as well. And 16.17 point out the fact that there should not be any separation in the society, so mm -hmm. no fighting and such. And 14.42 say that they would like to donate and perhaps visit a temple doing make merits and such. Mm -hmm. Now as for um, December the 5th, whether or not they think that December the 5th would actually create less tension in terms of political situation that we're facing right now, 77.41 say that is, could, is clearly shown mm -hmm. a decrease in tension. Yes. And a lot of people, uh, about 22.59 say that is probably more or less the same. It was mm -hmm. just a one day break and such. So at this point, this is what the Suandusit poll 
found. However, uh, Bangkok poll also conducted the survey as well if, for the people in Bangkok itself as well as in the vicinities. And they say that the 1,192 people were asked um, what they would like to do for this year's Father's Day. Most of them, 65.8, say that they probably would join activities in terms of candle lighting activities to pay respect to His Majesty the King. And 53.7 said that they probably will stay home and then watch His Majesty the King via the television programs. Mm -hmm. And 52.9 said that they will make a merit and of course extended that merit to for, as a gift for His Majesty the King. So overall at this point, a lot of people have a lot of activities in mind, but one of the biggest one would probably be joining the candle lighting. Yeah. And if you, I think, I believe that the candle lighting probably start in the evening sometimes, mm -hmm. either seven. six or seven o'clock, there you go. So sometimes even at the restaurant, they yeah, would have right. the activities as well that you know give you a chance to join in and they would just turn on television. So. Don't be too surprised if you actually get a chance to see a lot of people start to, you know, light candles, light candles during and, dinner. Yeah, and then start singing as well mm -hmm. in yes, unity. Yes, of course. And uh, in Bangkok, Sanam Luang and Rajadam Nguyen Avenue will be the main point of mm -hmm. celebrations. And if you have uh, got a chance to visit the area now, the the road and the Places along the Ratchet mm -hmm. Avenue has been adorned and decorated with That's light bulbs, true. the royal emblem, and pictures of His Majesty the King, and people were in a very happy mood. Mm -hmm. Right? This is the the start of the winter season. It's true, and plus, I think is is uh, for a lot of people is quite shocking views to see as well. After yeah. we've seen such a bad tension tear gas throwing, there's mm -hmm. a lot of you know yelling and a lot of scuffling. Yeah. And today, everything was just kind of in celebration and good mood. So, you know, we got to enjoy it while it lasts. Thailand only. Exactly. Really. <laughs> now, uh, talking about that and the winter breeze that we have, we are starting to mm -hmm. feel in Bangkok here. Tourism in up north of Thailand seems to be doing very well this year as well. Kun Gob, as the in terms of visitors and the bookings, as the temperature has dropped considerably, and a frost has been spotted for the second time this year in Doi Intanon Mountain mm -hmm. in Chiang Mai province. While heavy rains continue to hit the down south of Thailand, uh, there was report of wintry conditions that are expected to linger in Thailand's upper parts. Yesterday, the meteorological department has reported that the high pressure cell from China is set to subside, raising the average temperature in many parts of the country. The northern and upper central regions will continue to see lower temperatures during the next few days. In Lampang province, there were reports of a flight that have been disrupted for the second day due to the thick fog in the area. Many flights have been delayed in light of poor visibility brought on by the low temperature there. However, temperatures in Chiang Mai province also dropped significantly to as low as 3 degrees Celsius, causing the Doi Intanon mountain peak to be covered with frost. A report said that the temperature on top of the mountain was as low as 1 degree Celsius and the frost has been spotted only for the second time this year. The first time was back in November, the earlier, um, the beginning of November. Mm -hmm. Tourists are starting to flock to Chiang Mai province, particularly up in Doi Intanon, to experience the cool weather and also the frost as well. And the flow of visitors is expected to be, remain high until the beginning of next year. The Meteorological Department office also reported the temperatures are forecasted to fall again by 2 to 5 degrees Celsius in the north and northeastern region from December the 6th onwards. However, there were two districts in Chiang Mai province, Omgoi and Fang districts, that have been declared disaster zones already because it is affected by the cold spell. And two more additional districts, Jom Thong and Majam, will soon be added to the list as the 
temperature there have remained below 15 degrees Celsius for more than three days already. Now, reports said that up to 366,000 people have been affected by the cold snap and they are in need of winter clothing. So authorities have uh, allocated budgets and starting distributing the winter clothing and blankets to locals in the uh, areas affected by the cold spell. Mm -hmm. There were reports of the tourists that have been booked all the hotels wow. and accommodations in Chiang Mai. It seems that it has been fully booked until the end of this year. Wow. See? This is one of the things, if, if you don't understand why we got so excited about frost, because obviously if you come from the country where you have winter with snow and such, that's mm -hmm. quite normal. But here in Thailand, we got really excited with a little frost because you don't <laughs> get to see it that much anyway. All right, before we go to the break, I have one more uh, news to report. Unfortunately, this is not going to be very uplifting once again, mm -hmm. even though the political tension right here in the capital has already well, I would say put on a hold. Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to stop. It doesn't look like it. However, they, uh, the situation down south is still continue in terms of violence. There has been a report of southern violence. Um, four people were killed, and at this time, uh, they still they believe that is probably be uh, trying to instigate the violence in the area. However, these four people are were actually uh, went into the mangrove area. Mm -hmm. They were friends. Um, they had a pickup truck with them. They say that. There were five altogether. Unfortunately, the police, when they got to the scene, there were only four bodies found. Mm -hmm. Another person went missing, and they believe that he might have been um, fled to the swamp area. They, they are trying to find him, but at this point, um, he is nowhere to be seen yet. Hopefully, um, the police believe that he either ran away mm -hmm. and got away, or he was captured. So mm -hmm. at this point, um, the investigations still have to be ongoing. And this is in the Patani province, uh, Nongjik district. They say that this particular situation, uh, when the police got to the scene, they have seen a lot of bullet spins, um, bullet shells scattered around the area. They say that there's a M16 uh, bullet shells, about 20 of them in the area, as well as the six of the 0.9 millimeters um, bullets as well. Now they say that the pickup truck that these five people have at the time were stolen. Mm -hmm. So that means that at this point a lot of the officials are actually sent out warnings to different parts of the southern, especially the southernmost provinces, saying mm -hmm. that these particular pickup truck might have been used for car bomb. So yeah. they are warning a lot of the officials in the area. At this point, Kun Vithya Panit Pong, the person that is still missing, the police is still trying to find um, the end of this particular incident to see whether or not um, he will actually turn up and, you know, hopefully he's, in, excuse me, Kun Vithya Panit Pong is the Patani governor, the person that went missing, let me get his name, is Prapad Thong Yet. There you go. And uh, in terms of Kun Vithya Panit Pong, the Patani governor, he gave out 500,000 baht for each of the families wow. um, of the victims that passed away. So 2 million baht altogether uh -huh. just to ease their pain. But of course, it's still quite painful. And they say that all the bodies were sent back to Nakhon Si Tamaraz province where the four people were actually came from. Mm -hmm. So at this point, um, I think more investigation will have to be in the area. And plus, Kun Prapatong yet another victim that went missing, mm -hmm. and they're still not sure of his whereabout. Is still um, try they're, they're still trying to track him down. Of course, and with that, we're taking a short break. Mm -hmm. Up next, there's still more criminal cases to be reported here right. this morning. And also, of course, the updates on the demonstration and also the next move of Kun Suteb mm -hmm. Tuesuban, the anti-government protesters. Up next, stay tuned.